This is a library. Jeez, these guys. <laughs> yes, we are at the library. We are at the Passing Time Library. And it's the first time we've opened this library up, Chris. We are going back in time to taste our old vintages for the first time at Passing Time and offering them to you, our club members and customers. Chris, why do people hold back wine? What Does wine really get better with age? Yeah, I really think it does. Um, you know, we make our wines where they're delicious when we release them, but um, just a few years in the cellar, up to a decade or two, the wines really bring extra complexity and, uh, you know, just change over time. And it's, it's very interesting and um, wines are great that way. Yeah, you know, it's funny, when we started out, it's been 10 years now. 2012 was our first vintage and you know, we always thought, yeah, our wines can age. You know, we're putting some new French oak, we're doing all these amazing things. We have some amazing fruit from some amazing vineyards. But but you never really know until you get there. Well, we're here now. And, you know, do you have a favorite that we've tasted here over the decade? Uh, anything, any particular vintage jump out to you? Or are you just, are you enjoying them all at this stage? It's really cool to see how the different vintages, you know, age differently. And, and something with a lot of structure and tannin, like the 2014s, might, taste younger than uh, 2017 from Walla Walla, just as an example. So that it, it's not so much as like, what's the exact right time to taste the wine, but just to enjoy the journey and enjoy, you know, it, it, the interesting aspect of, of how wine ages over time. Yeah, well, I've been asked a bunch over the years, you know, I started your club in 2015. How do I get the 14s or maybe that first vintage in 2012? Well, for the limited time only, we are opening the doors to the Passing Time Library. Uh, check it out, it's gonna go fast, but uh, you'll have an opportunity now to taste really all of our wines from all three great appellations uh, since we've released them now for over a decade. Hard, we've, hard to believe we've been doing this for a decade. It's amazing, us. yeah. Uh, and just how much we've, we've added the new wines and, and changed over time. And, I think we keep improving every year, so. Yeah, um, a, a little bit, any difference, you know, we tasted the 14s the other day, just how the Walla Walla might age versus the, the Horse Heaven or the Red Mountain. Any differences there? Yeah, I'm not sure. At this young age, you know, all wine, all these, you know, bigger scale Cabernets are still just gonna be, still going towards their kind of peak development, what we might call peak development. I wouldn't say, that um, many of them are there yet even. I think that the, the best is still yet to come. Um, but, you know, it'll be, it's interesting to see how, how they age a little differently. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us in yeah. the Passing Time Library today. Get yours now before it's gone. And uh, cheers and thanks for all that you do for Passing Time. Cheers. cheers.